Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to start researching a new topic, which involves getting some background information or an overview. So for this assignment, what I did is I looked through the list of topics provided by your teacher, and I decided that I was gonna research the traditions of the Byzantine icon and the significance of the period of iconoclasm. And so I picked that because it sounded interesting, but I don't know anything about it. So where to start? I bet you're in the same place. So the first place I'd recommend you look is your textbook. I have an old version of the textbook that you guys use in your class. And you would look in the textbook to see what kind of information there is about your topic because these topics were developed looking at what you're studying in class. You can also look at the syllabus, which will kind of give you a hint of where in the textbook to look for information. So in this textbook, there's actually an entire chapter on um, Byzantine art. And I found that by looking at the table of contents in the front of the book. The other thing you could do is look in the index in the back of the book, and that's where you can look for various names of people, artists, works, things like that. But there's an entire chapter on the art of the East in this textbook. And so the first thing I'm going to do is take some time to read this chapter. And honestly, that might be about an hour for me uh, because there's a lot I don't know and I'll have to take a lot of notes and probably look things up. Um, after I've done that, I'll have a better idea of what um, Byzantine icons are and then also what the iconoclasm is. And so I learned that the iconoclasm is when um, people decided to destroy icons, that they decided that icons weren't godly, that the Bible wrote against graven images, and they destroyed all of this art that had been created up until that point, right? So now I know I want to learn more about the significance of icons in um, this era, so in, in Eastern Europe, right? What do icons mean to people? Um, how are they used? And then also, um, what happened during the iconoclasm and what happened afterwards, right? So if I need more information than that, I might look at an encyclopedia next. So let me show you where you can find additional sources of background information. And this will be really helpful for those of you who don't get an entire chapter in your textbook on your topic. So let me share my screen. Um, I'm on the research guide for your class, the Art 101 online guide. I'm gonna click the Understand Your Topic tab. And when you scroll down, you'll see a list of places to get background sources. The place I'm going to recommend you look first is Grove Art Online. And what this is, is an online dictionary. If you're logging into a library resource from home, you'll see this page and you simply put in the username and password that you use for Canvas and all the other library systems. And now that I'm in Grove Art, I could do a really simple search, just like Byzantium, right? I could try Byzantium and, and Icon. And at the top, it doesn't look like I'm really getting what I want. So here's something that looks like a nice overview. If I click that. And if, when I read this, if this looks useful for me, I can, you know, um, save it, print it, save it. It'll even tell me how to cite it, right? And I can say, I need to cite it in Chicago, right? Um, if I don't like this, I can look, maybe I wanna look up icons or iconoclasm, right? So these are all the different keywords that are related to my topic. It's going to tell me what an icon is. Um, it's also telling me where else to go. If I go to this place here, Early Christian and Byzantine Art, it's going to talk more about what I'm interested in. Right, I'm talking about icons right here. Development and use, right? So this is going to give me the information I need so that I can start um, understanding the topic and that'll help me be able to narrow my search and write a more interesting paper. 
So in this video, I showed you um, two sources to use for background research. One, your handy dandy textbook, which should always be your first stop, and two, Grove Art Online. Um, if you click on the next tab that says um, Find Books, I'll show you how you can look for books in our library catalog and also online to get more information about your topics. So you can write a really great paper.